everybody what's up <laughs> the young man in the picture that you see is named Trayvon Martin Trayvon was a four, was a was a 17 year old young man that went down to went to go uh, visit his stepbrother he went to go visit his 14 year old stepbrother named Chad when he stepped out to go buy him some candy and a can of iced tea down the block at the 7-Eleven local 7-Eleven and when he came back into the uh, gated community a man in his car stepped out he stepped out of his car stomped Trayvon and asked him questions the person that was asked that stepped out of his car and was asking Trayvon question was uh, 28 year old George Zimmerman Zimmerman. He said he didn't recognize the 17 year old. And there was, he says there was conflict or misunderstanding, and he shot the 17 year old and he said it was self defense. Trayvon Martin did not have a weapon on him. Only thing he had was a can of iced tea and a bag of Skittles. A can of iced tea and a bag of Skittles. Where's the weapon? Where's the weapon? Where's the damn weapon? Man didn't recognize him so he steps out of the car questioning this boy with the pack with the loaded gun and he says there was conflict that something was going down he had to defend himself so he shoots the child saying oh it was self defense what 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 was he going to do throw the bag of skittles at you and say taste the rainbow is that what he's going to do is that what he was going to do throw the bag of skittles at you and say taste the rainbow I'll show you what the guy that's Trayvon Martin right there you see in the picture I will show you what this man looks like George Zimmerman Zimmerman this is who he is George Zimmerman yeah I went on Inside Edition yeah but it's all over the news it's everywhere that this man killed a 17 year old child because he said he didn't recognize him his mother the boy's mother is heartbroken she can't stop crying because her son was killed. Her son was killed out of out of what? Cause he did not recognize him. The man, only thing the man suffered from was a bloody nose. Now, come on now. Now, the boy ain't got a weapon on him. What the hell he going to use to fight off a man with a gun? You can't, you can't find nothing, fight a man off with a gun. So, this boy died. So, George, and one thing is, George Zimmerman got arrested. No, George Zimmerman didn't get charged. Now that's kind of messed up. He didn't get charged. Now hold on. This man didn't get charged of killing a 17 year old child that had no weapons, that had a can of iced tea and a bag of Skittles. And the man, did, and he killed this boy and he didn't get charged of murder? He said he, he, said he claimed that in self defense, but after. And the big crowd of people from the neighborhood walked up to the police investigating this. Walked up to him and said it was unjustified. He said it was unjustified that this boy got killed. There was many other people asking. He 
could have they stated he could have stayed in his car he could have stayed in his car and the shooting would never have happened another person asked what happened what has happened to mr zimmerman zimmerman and the mother of the boy sabrina martin says this was no accident this was murder i think he was murdered i think he murdered my son it was a murder it was murder when they when the crowd asked the people and asked the people the people asked the police officer and the and, and the police officer respond at this point nothing come on dude if that ain't murder i don't know what is a 28 year old man killing a 17 year old boy just because he was walking back from the store walking back from the store and you can't sit up and tell me that that wasn't murder this boy died for nothing just because he wanted to go get him something to drink and some candy and he was walking back to see his stepbrother he didn't have a weapon on him he didn't have nothing to defend himself and he got killed just from walking back home how does that work that a 17 year old child can't walk to the store and back without getting killed by a 28 year old man Twenty-eight-year-old man killed him because he didn't recognize from the neighborhood. He's the captain. Let's see. This is why I don't believe in neighborhood watches. This is why I don't believe in neighborhood watches because they don't know. Because when you do this neighborhood watch, you don't know everybody in the neighborhood. Just because you gather some of your friends that lives in the neighborhood doesn't mean you know everybody in the neighborhood. And so this boy died for no damn reason. So why did this child have to die? Because the captain of the neighborhood watch didn't recognize this boy. It's sad. It's very sad. That boy, this boy will never know what love is. This boy will never get married, the boy will never have kids, the boy will never have nothing. He don't he wouldn't even know what prom is. Because Mr. Zinger man man, Mr. Zingerman killed this boy because he didn't recognize him. Come on now. I know some of y'all sitting out there where he was it was an accident because he didn't recognize No, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't an accident. It wasn't an accident. It really wasn't. You cannot sit there and say this was an accident. This was The boy got killed because the motherfucker didn't know. Not to say mother. Yeah, I'm going to say the motherfucker didn't know what the hell he was doing. I probably said that well, Afro, I'm surprised you make this in the racist thing. Well, I could, but the but the shit speaks for itself. You see, this young man, it, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. Now you tell me, I ain't I ain't say no race, no color, no nothing. You, it, it, the shit speaks for itself. And the man, and George Zimmerman, man, said he thought it was a black man. He thought it was a black man. Now, you, everybody knows. Everybody knows these kids are getting taller, tall enough to look like grown people. But he did not have to kill this man because he didn't recognize him. Didn't he question the hell about this boy? He like like I'm with I'm kind of with the people that was asking the police officer why didn't this man stay in the car, or if he had a problem. He could have stepped out and left the gun in the car or left the safety on him in a holster or something and walk up to him and say, do you live around here? If he said, no, I got family up the street. No, you, if he said, yes, I got family up the street. 
All he could have did was say, well, I'll walk you up the street and all this and that. And he would have walked him up the street and asked, knocked on the door and asked him if this child was his. That's all he could have did just to figure out who this child was. But he did not have to kill this boy and say, oh, it was self-defense. He didn't. This man killed this boy because he was trigger happy. Trigger happy. The boy died because George Singer man was trigger happy. He wanted to shoot his gun off and he shot the wrong person. This innocent boy will never know what it is to be a, an adult. He'll never know what love is. He'll never know what marriage is. He'll never know what to be a father is. He'll never know what's anything. This dude died. This young boy died for nothing. Self-defense of my ass. That ain't self-defense. That's just walking up and shooting somebody. You just shot, kill somebody just for what? You ain't have nothing else to do. That's how I think. The man didn't have nothing else to do. So he shot the boy. And then he wants to punch, punch himself in the face or whatever. And say he butting his nose or whatever. And say, oh, that was self-defense. I can say, what weapon did he, what did this boy have on him to commit, uh, to, 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 what weapon did he have? A can of iced tea and some Skittles, man. I know that brother didn't want to taste the rainbow. Come on now. Y'all probably say, oh, you trying to make fun of the gays. No, I'm not making fun of the gays. That's all he had it was a pack of Skittles, so. And I sit here and, I, I, and, and, and as I read and as I listen, as I pay attention, it still bothers, it bothers me. That this man sits up here and he killed this boy because of what? He didn't. I know y'all getting tired of sitting here me saying, repeat myself, but it is what it is, man. He shot him for nothing. Because he won't home from the store. He walked back to see his stepbrother. How do you how do you live with yourself after that man? And why ain't the police charging this man? Why is it he why isn't the police charging this man for committing the crime of murdering this murdering this child? The evidence points out this boy did not have a weapon on him, a concealed weapon. He did not have no narcotics on him. So how did this boy how do you how do you not justify this? Is that I don't know if, if that's what you how you say it? Not justify this. Like I know you 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 can't sit there and take this man's side and say, well, it was an accident. No, it cannot be an accident. Shooting somebody in the leg or in the foot or in the hand or the arm that's an accident. But com committing murder that is not an accident. That child cannot. The, the, his life is like his life is not like a video game you cannot die and think you suspect you're going to come back that is not an accident shooting that is not friendly fire it was just a man that was so damn trigger happy because of his gun that he shot an innocent kid from walking home from the store found out he said what are you doing in in the gated community, there's there's family that there's families that live in a gated community. His brother lived in a his fourteen year old brother lived in a gated community. His mother his, his mother lived in a gated community, and he died. And he he I I I'm it's just mind boggling that this man is not getting charged for murder. Why is this man not getting charged for murder? That's the question that I'm asking. How come this? George Z uh, Zinger man is not getting charged for murder. This kid died. Got shot and died. To me, to me, I think this dude should get locked up. He took a life. He took a young man's not a young man's life. And I think that this man should be charged with murder. Either life in prison, no parole. Or the death pen death penalty. Because he did not 
He like to me he lied. To me he said, Oh, self defense. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. The police gathered some of the evidence. I can't say how much evidence, but he gathered evidence where all you seen was a coke uh coke can and a bag of candy. So how are you supposed to say you defending yourself against a child that has no weapon on him? You probably said, Well, he could have threw the coke can at him and hit him. Why would he want to do that and he had a gun on him? Why would he want to do that? See, he ain't had nothing to defend himself. He was just stuck with a gun pointing to his face. And he gets and he gets killed from walking from the store back home. I just don't get it, people. I want to know what y'all think about this. That's one thing I want to know. What do y'all think about this man shooting an innocent kid because he didn't recognize him? Plus, he this kid did not have a weapon. Plus, this kid went to the 7-Eleven just to buy a cold drink and a bag of candy. What do you think about that? Do you think it was wrong for this dude to do it? Or if you think it was the right thing to, for him to do it? To me, I think it was the wrong thing for him to do it. Second thing is best thing for uh, the guy should have did was call the police instead of shooting this guy and uh, shooting this young man and the, shooting this man just killing him I don't think this kid should never would have died I, they said they wasn't going to charge him because he's the chief of the uh, neighborhood watch I don't give a damn if he was king of England I don't give a damn if he was Prince Harry, Prince William, I don't give a damn if he was the governor of Tennessee or the mayor of Nashville, I don't give a damn if he was mayor of Franklin, Tennessee, I don't give, if he was a politician, I don't give if it was a mayor, governor, commissioner, lawyer, whatever, a murder is a murder, the law has been said, if you kill somebody, then you should be, if the law says you could can't kill nobody. It's even in written in, uh, in Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not kill. But this man shoots this boy to death. I want to know what do y'all think? Do y'all think this is this George Zinger man should be prosecuted of murdering of a 17 year old child, or should this man go back out on the street so he can shoot your kids? Which is it? Either him rotting in prison for a long ass time or he going back on the street killing your kids and your babies because he has nothing else to do but be a trigger happy motherfucker roaming the streets. To me, this man should be in, sitting in the jail cell getting his booty hole poked out because this is fucked up that he, he had nothing else to do. Now, I want you to pass this motherfucking video around so people can understand this is what really happened. See, if it's getting to a point where if I'm hearing more stories or people's hearing more stories about some night wa uh, neighborhood watchman is sitting up there killing people, I think the neighborhood watch should be, d should be gone, should be gone. Because, see, let's that's, that's, that's take a lesson. I think... We should not have no more uh, neighborhood watches because of this because of this incident. Because one thing is, if it goes to to a point so far that a neighborhood watchman is breaking into your house and killing your family, then I think we need to just stop it. This boy did not deserve to die. Now this has been Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass burning hell for all I care. I really don't need your bullshit. Do not bring your bullshit here. If you like what I got to say and you are pissed off at the situation, leave a comment via response. Holler at me. And uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior 2, CeeLo Junior 3. And follow me on Twitter at AfroJoeTheWookie. This has been AfroJoe, keeping it real. It's straight bullshit.